Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Chisum Haka, and today we are talking when is the best time to have sex in marriage? More like at what point of the marriage marriage rights and getting married procedure and ceremony should we have sex? This is particularly interesting because it is um, it is going to bear a lot of um, opinions or shed light on certain things that majorly Christian couples go through, right? Either because they want to be, of course, they want to please God in their marriage or they want to abide by the dictate of their church assembly. This is really funny. Lord. So at what point in your getting to marry her, in your getting to marry him, can you initiate sex? Can you consummate your marriage? Is it after the family has been met and there's been and the traditional rites have been done or before the court or registry wedding or wait till after the church and white wedding is done? At what point do you consider yourself married enough to consummate it? That's what this topic is about. So if you're in for this, don't go anywhere and please subscribe, tap the bell button so that you don't miss any of my videos, right? Welcome back. So many Christians all around the world are faced with this kind of challenge. I have personal encounters. I have people who have had issues with their, you know, betrothed, like Bible would say, with their fiancés or with their wives and husbands because one person is wanting sex just after one of the ceremonies. Another person is saying, oh no, oh no, that looks very ungodly. We are not really finally married yet. You know, so it creates a kind of confusion. Now, if you're not Nigerian or from Africa, you may not understand. We have three different major kinds of marriages that most people think. It's not compulsory, but that's how we find ourselves um, going about the act of getting married. Now, if you believe that marriage is more of a family-centered ceremony, then you would you might be in the class of people who want to say, okay, so after the first set of marital uh, or marriage ceremony, which is the traditional Nigerian wedding, where two families are coming together, doing the rite, you know, doing all, all the obligations for the bride and taking their bride home as well, because that end, that wedding ends with the bride following her husband home. Now, you might just think that okay, that might be the best time to consummate marriage, but some other people feel that no, they just feel like they are not going to be married because they also have on their lineup the court or registry wedding to do. And they also have going to have their big church white wedding where we wear the western attire right so even though our traditional nigerian african wedding is totally totally the most gorgeous ceremony you know for anyone who wants to get married we still see ourselves doing the court which is of course legal and all of that and then we also go ahead to lend some support <laughs> but sometimes even bigger um, doing the Western thing. So if you've been in that condition where, or that situation where you just had followed your husband home, his traditional, end of traditional wedding, everybody has said goodbye, and then he says, oh my wife, gave it to me, and you are confused as to whether you are doing right or wrong, and then he, or he himself, or you are the one wanting it, and he's saying, and he's being hesitant, like, oh no, you know our court wedding is still coming up maybe next week, or our church wedding is still months away, so we shouldn't do this, then you understand why this is such a huge discussion. First of all, I want to say that every Christian organization like churches and stuff all have their other traditions around these things. And also, churches have things like even when to talk to, to the person you're going to get married, when you should do your marriage class, all of those things are all preparation towards marriage. Now, if you're the kind of person who I mean, you're hitting it off from even when you're in the relationship or you know, you, you, you both don't have an issue, you know, having sex even before meeting the family. This video is not, you know, it's not about, it's not for people like you. We're talking about people who are stuck on, you know, wanting to do right by doctrines, by the dictates of what the Bible said and they want to be in the good books of God and they want to also come up as a, a clean couple, you know, in their church family. Now, these are the issues that they face. First of all, at the point where you have done your traditional wedding, your two, your two families have met and they have even said goodbye, 
I think I know that you are married already. Now, first of all, what is marriage and what is wedding? Maybe that's what we should discuss. <laughs> I think I brought my cup for this conversation. I just wish I have like guests on the show. <laughs> so, guys, <clears throat> first of all, what is wedding and what is uh, marriage? Marriage is the coming together of two people who have agreed to live their lives together. Two people, male and female, now who have decided to come together and build their life together, right? And who have gotten the blessing of their family. So wedding is more of a family thing. From all the scriptures I've read, two families just meet and then that's marriage. So every other thing we do, like the Igbo culture, we do the Ibanko, where you find your husband, where you wear your ashwebi, where you have your maidens, and all of those things we do, decoration, food, all that. Those are just the ceremonies, of course, to make it really heartwarming and remarkable, right? Now, also, all the other things we do, like, you know, going to our church because we want to help, um, you know, also make it known in our church community, those are just pure ceremonies. So the marriage is done at the point that the families have agreed and given their blessing. So I would, in my opinion, at the point that families have met and given their blessing and whatever ceremony that was done at that point, you are married. And I think that churches also should make it very easy for couples. Like, why would you tell a couple that you know you're gonna wed them in church let's say in December and then you agree for them to go and do their traditional wedding in June prior to the December six months gap what is that supposed to help achieve and then in the midst of your date you have a church culture that says we shouldn't see the two of you together we shouldn't you know we are going to do pregnancy tests before you get married all of those things that we do right <laughs> So what really are we um, promoting? What really are we up about? So this is an open-ended discussion. I want to hear in the comments, have you been in this shoes where you're wondering, where you're feeling like a sinner because you want sex and your husband is saying, oh no, we have more ceremonies coming even though you're married. At what point did you think it was cool to coordinate your marriage? Now, I would say from my church, when I was single, the church I used to attend, we have a culture. The culture is whatever wedding you want to do, decide from the beginning and let the church know. So if you decide to do only one, which is your traditional wedding, then let the church know so that everybody comes with you on that day, blesses you and goes home and says, oh yeah, they are married. Or you decide that you want to do two because you want to do traditional wedding, you want to also do the legal wedding. Then let us know so that we can help you plan the traditional wedding and the legal wedding almost at the same time or very close to each other in, in, in a matter of days or at most one week gap so that you can get on with your life. If you want to do the, you want to go the whole nine years, you want to do an engagement wedding, you want to do a traditional wedding, then you want to do a registry wedding, you also want to do a church wedding, then let us know so that we can also plan along with you. The point is, they said in my church, they have the culture that any number of wedding ceremonies you want to do, you must do the last before you can consummate your wedding. So that leaves you with, you know, deciding from the beginning what is it really about ceremonies and about marriages that you want to do, because they will not wed you if you say, oh, I want to do why I want to do the whole three, but you space them out in six months or one year or two years, and then expect them to wed you after you have consummated the marriage or maybe even, you know, maybe you are even pregnant, right? Right? They're not going to wed you. So there are different cultures. Whether it's wrong or right is a is a subject for another day, but. Um, getting married is a family culture, right? It's also a legal culture. It's something that the government has to be aware of, right? And if you want to do travel documents, you know, you want to change your name legally and stand by it and all of those things. You know the legal, the legal aspect of your wedding. So you need that document to show that, you know, because wedding is also a, a social institution, right? Or rather married now. So for me, the, more, the moment you have gotten married, you have gotten the blessing of your father, of your family, and said, this is the man you want to marry, this is the woman you have married and they have blessed you, and I said goodbye, you are married. So this is up for debate. Christian couples, what is it that you think is the ideal thing to do? And do you really support this thing about wedding in a whole year? Like, you know, you're doing white wedding here, traditional wedding at this time, two, three different times apart. And how does that affect consummation of marriage? 
I have a case in point where somebody got married in whole in a whole year. So they've done the traditional wedding, they did the registry wedding, and she was practically still in her father's house and still calling her husband boyfriend. <laughs> So I leave it to you. Let me know in the comment section what you think. If you enjoyed this discussion and you want us to dig deeper into this topic, step, drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about it and what else you think we should discuss about it. Please subscribe in down below and tap the notification bell before you go away and be totally awesome. See you in my next video.